turn to pay. Piper doing quite well. I mean, first phase pickable. Seems to be a pretty strong dude. This nice addition. Both heroes getting some tweaks here or there. It's a quick race to the rune. Well, that skill is still available. Excalibur doesn't want to tank too much harass, even if he would have got it. Would have probably suffered too much uh, from all the red. Look how much he takes anyway. Nether Toxin just destroys him, plus a couple of auto attacks, and Excalibur's got to be careful. He has four tangos. No one's still diving a little bit deep. He's now out of mana, though, so he can't continue on with the poison attack, but... Uh, no one's probably feeling pretty good in this mid lane as it is right now. Yeah, we haven't discussed that, I suppose, but um, that new skill, it's got break. Uh, pretty good against <laughs> someone like Visage. Uh, yeah. There's, you know, not, not many heroes in the game that can just whip that out on you, but uh, maybe some reconsiderations in terms of Visage versus Viper. And he's just dead. He's just, yeah, that is, um, <laughs> I don't know if they thought this over. It did not work out well. That's just gonna crush you every single time. That's your defensive mechanism. Right yeah, now. he's very, it's very squishy gone. without it. Ramsey's in the bottom lane. He looks like he will get out. They already used the fish for no other disable. So, yeah. I, the the crazy thing is, if you level it, I mean, Nether Toxin is on a five second cooldown at all levels. By the way, just want to throw that out there. So that's great. Luckily, he doesn't have mana for it. So Excalibur actually he's safe for now. But. Bottom lane, though, more action coming to Fisher. They might find Solo. The Splinter Blast will do it along with an auto attack. Lil is next, perhaps, only the Shadow Word. He's got 16 strength. The Solar oh. DJ Solo, 14 HP. is off in a million different targets, it feels like. The good news, at least for Fnatic, is Ohio is top of the CS. But uh, we'll see. Maybe they go on mid here. Solo's coming in. Level 2 upheaval. There it is. The Nether Tox and the break. A lot of damage being done. The Saurab keeps Lil alive, but he's still taking a lot of damage. He will survive, and no one will get the job done. And Nether Toxin strikes again. The break is there, and an easy kill. Well, that was, uh... It's pretty rough already for Fnatic, it feels like. The only thing going well, I think they have a war. I think he sees this with the ward. Yeah, he sees Pilot Eye and DJ. He's just gonna... He has a TP number one already, and he can just get out here. Maybe they hit a Fisher, but I don't think so. He's yeah, not even going to go for it. Do. I mean, if he gets fissured and blocked off, then that means he can just TP Mid lane, home. Excalibur. It looks like he'll fall to no one again. The soul assumption, but not enough damage. And Lil just continues to harass this. He's able to make it out just fine. And Ohio, first hook shot not successful. They're still rotating in mid. Now they're looking at DJ. Viper Strike is back up in one. DJ, I think, is just dead. Decay will come in. There's the solar. They don't even need the Viper Strike. This mid lane is essentially just a disaster. If you walk up, you're going to get Viper Struck and Nether Toxin. And you're just dead, I think. On some ancient stacks here to catch his Medusa up. Yeah, they Only need real that. options they have. Yeah, exactly. Lil and DJ will go toe to toe. He's out in the open. Enchant Totem will hit the range drop. Will... Oh, that's a great block. He's like in this little corner. He's able to walk out. No, he's stuck on both sides. And Ohio will get the kill. And Armlet, so they want to get involved early, it feels like, with this Alchemist. I, I think. mean, this Armlet's already done, too. So he can just kind of show up and play around. Um, Maybe something like Warlock as we head into like the 10, 11 minute mark. Top lane, Decrep, that'll be into Ohio. Pasha is just so speedy, he misses the hook shot too. Meanwhile, mid lane, no one will get the kill on Pylite. Doing something like Ramsey's. This farm keeps staying relatively close to the tower for Envy because he can't just keep doing that side pull off of the camp over and over, ranking right? near his own tower. So it's surprising how much uh, Envy's still getting here. They all dive in mid. Yeah, Excalibur's dead again. He literally just TP'd only to die, but they might find Lil. They've got the hook shot coming in the enchant totem. Ohio will chase down no one. That's a bigger kill. Hill, and finally they get something going. This time Ohio comes in and he's able to secure it. Lil will try to run. He has no... He's at level 8, almost level 9, and kind of the same thing with Pasha here. He's at 8 and a quarter, so we could see a quick group up here from the Radiant. Now they're looking for Lil. The range drops something out a bit here, but... Mm, the Medic. Trouble. Oh, no, but not able to do so. Lil will fall. Pasha has to back himself up. He doesn't want to get caught. Fnatic, but they are smoked up. They might run into Lil first. They're heading bottom, and they want Ramsey's. That's the bigger target here. Almost able to save this whole thing. Get the ulti off first. Yeah, the chemical rage comes in as the hook shot comes out just in time. Ramsey's might survive this. He's got the armlet. The toggle will not be in time. It won't be there. The tombstone's going to get chunked down too, and DJ will bring it out. Lil's still getting chased. Ohio, no battery salt. He's got cogs in two. They won't dive under the tower, but DJ, he does have the Fisher. Lil might need to be careful. DJ's going to run it. He's going to see him from the side here. Fisher's going to come out. The enchant totem's ready as well. The flare coming in should get this kill, and they will. DJ gets the job done. It's here on the warlock. Yeah, they're ready to go. Golem is up. Posh is ready to try to push this. Envy is in some serious trouble. There's the Golem coming out. He's got the mana shield, but look at the damage. They've got the life drain. The stone gaze, well, it'll lock them down for him. Golem up in 45. Pasha 
Getting a little bit low on mana, he has a force to have to work with now. Wrapping in from behind, no one will find Ohio. The Blade Mail will come out, the Viper Strike is there as well. The Flesh Gold, Tombstone, and Ohio has to TP. He will make it away, it looks like, just in time. Now no one taking some damage, forced across the Fissure Wall. Nicely done there, the Tombstone still alive. DJ and Pilot Eye have to back up and fight the zombies off in the meantime. Elsewhere, the Life Drain coming through. They're going to try to go for this Tier 1 Tower. Envy pops the Stone Gaze, gets the Deny. Now turning and looking for Solo. A lot of damage being done, but he needs more help. Here comes Pilot Eye, he's got the Winter's Curse, can't get it off. Fisher comes in. He'll use it on Viper, but that's just to keep him alive. Envy's still chasing. Now he's alone. The break comes through. There's going to be the Pug to the Blast down. The Flare is there, and Envy is in so much trouble. He's dead to the life drain and no one. Echo Slam comes out. The Golem just a second too late. DJ with the Fisher. Lil's getting low, but he should survive. Even without the decay, DJ will take down to the Shadow Word. Should fall here. In fact, will. Solo will get the kill. Pilot Eye getting chased by the Golem. Ohio's back in the fray. He TP back home and he's able to get back in time. He's got bots now. He can TP in whenever, as long as there's a creep wave there. Envy trying to chase someone has popped the drum charge. I believe there's the clockwork. They want to chase after no one. He's slowed down just a little bit. Stone gazes up, but there's the upheaval. Fisher coming in. It's going to block out no one. Flesh Golem will go. They've got the tombstone. Viper Strike coming in. Hook shot across the wall from Ohio. Lil's in trouble. Soul ripping it to keep himself alive. He'll fall first. That's one down. They're looking for no one. They pop the blade mill up on Ohio. The cogs just miss. On the other side, DJ will go down. And sort of towards and this boundary area. Anyone else want to get stuck down here? Maybe. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hell, birds found you. <laughs> Pasha's just chilling. Now Envy's found him, and they're looking the to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Pasha can't get out. It looks like the Enchant Totem, the Decrypt, comes out at the wrong time. Mystic Snake and the Bird drops. And one more auto-attack. They really wanted to give that to Envy. They made sure. Bottom right hand, bottom right hand side of the map. It's pretty much what it was. Lil getting chased down. He's going to get caught. The Golem is the sword, but it's not going to keep him alive. They have the Familiars. They have the Soul Assumption. It's more than enough to get the kill. So nice uh, job there from Excalibur. She's found her way up to the third place now on the chair. Oh, no, fourth. Alka's just behind 14,000 net worth, which shouldn't surprise me. Echo Slam coming out bottom lane. They're looking for solo. One kill. Yes, it's on a support, but it is a kill going for So much uh, base attack speed, but when you're dealing with such big damage items anyway, like Radiance, you just want to make sure you've got survival. Yeah, exactly. Ability. He's already so far ahead as it is, and giving away gold would be bad, especially if he gives it to Envy. And he might do so here. The Blade Mill is going to come out, and Ramsey's in some trouble here. They even dropped the Medallion. The Soul Assumption will do the job, and just like that, even with that talent, Ohio able to get the kill and get some gold going his way, as he's now top of the net worth on his team. Yeah, bottom though, they're gonna attack Envy near a shrine, dangerous place. Shrine, Mystic, or rather Stone Gaze coming out. No one gonna turn his back, so will Lil, and continues on. Envy still needs help, the Golem will get dropped down. He's still alive for now, the mana coming back in, but it's just too much damage. Still getting caught by no one. Winter's Curse comes out, but it's only on Depasha, and it's not able to turn them around and get Envy survive. So he will fall, it's a one for one trade, both cores of the enemy team going down. Like a second cooldown, 80 second cooldown, so it's not that bad. But now all of a sudden, VP are just pushing. Seemingly out of nowhere. They're, they're going to have a creep wave here in a moment. Envy's coming in. He's got Stone Gaze. He's got, of course, the Dragon Lance along with the Blade Mail. Still, now he's actually top of the net worth on his team, which, of course, that belonged to Ohio for a while. Still no Aghanim Scepter for him on Ohio. They might make a go here, though. They want to maybe try to defend this tier 2. I don't know if they want to give this away. Ramsey's taking a lot of damage, actually. Shadow Work coming out. The Medallion is there. Here comes oh, the Tombstone as well. DJ's coming in from the side, looking for an Echo Slam. But Solo, he's going to get a one-man Echo Slam. It looks like maybe onto two. The Golem dropped down, but they've already lost the Undying. Now Solo getting caught by Ohio. Forced away. Ramsey's Mantis at the perfect time. He's able to get out. Excalibur, they're going to continue to chase. No one. Viper Strike coming out. Looking to turn on Excalibur. A lot of damage being done. It was the break that came in from the Nether Toxin yet again. And that blows away. Poor Excalibur, so he'll fall. He'll still chase after no one. He forces himself out, Ohio. Still no hook shot again for another 30 now, seconds here. Can't they're, quite catch him. Yeah, they're all backed away at this point. Pilot Eye trying to chase Arctic Burn will go. The bird's still on him. Pasha coming back in. He's got the decrep. The Nether Blast coming at the life drain, and Pilot Eye. Winner's Curse keeps him alive. Going for the TP. Oh, and this look at that bad too. boy. It's oh, it's the Meteor up. Hammer. Meteor Hammer. That's Let's disgusting. Go. <laughs> you already have Nether Blast. You have Meteor Hammer on top of it. And they have upheaval to slow heroes down instead of Meteor Hammer even more. There's the hook shot. They're going to find no one. Force coming out, Ohio. That's uh, not in the right position. Now the Golem's going to get dropped down as well. It's going to be on to two. Ohio, life drain, TP. Can he make it out? He will. Great TP coming in, but he yeah. will get dropped anyway. That was a Pasha four step. What a sick play. That Got was him huge. Right away from no one. Good drop of these familiars coming out, but uh, that might actually keep them. Oh, they're going to get a huge Wonder's Curse from Pilot Die. Gets the kill on Lil. So it turns into a one for one somehow. 
But uh, like you mentioned, the force away, Ohio couldn't quite find that initiation. I mean, he got the hook shot, but the cog follow up. Very difficult when you get forced away like that, so. Good stuff coming in from Virtus Pro, and they'll try to continue the push here. Oh, we can't quite find the stun, though, on the pie. Now Excalibur, got to see Solo here, Ohio running in as well, battery assault, hook shots available, Solo's just dead. Solo assumption plus familiar is easy kill there with a medallion on. Now looking for more Lil, getting chased down, the flare will fly through, they have hook shot ready to go, DJ's nearby as well with the blink dagger, should be available, no, he just used it, Enchant Totem is, but DJ's already used that four step as well as blink dagger, unstable concoction will go, DJ's in trouble now, the hook shot, he's going to turn back around onto Pasha, the decrep will come through as well, Cogs no pushback there, and DJ will fall to the Radiant Spirit of Ramses coming in. Good counter initiative. It's worth it in this situation just because of how well the defenses were going for Fnatic, but uh, that will be our final result here. And now they start prepping. They throw some wards down. It is nighttime, so they shouldn't have spotted that. Really nice option here, but wow, right in there. Yeah, Ohio's going in. Force away again every time it feels like that hook shot comes down. You talked about it. That force, that good hurricane, or excuse me, Winter's Curse coming out. Ramses, he will just Dude. destroy Solo. So now he's down with no golem available. Three familiars chasing down Pasha and Lil. Here comes the curse from Ohio. The glyph, they're doing their best at this point, but Ohio is on the run. He's got phase, he's got drum, he's pretty speedy looking for somebody. Lil, he's gonna find it. The hook shot will go. They've got the cogs as well. Lil, no force step. He's gonna fall, and they get the Radiant Courier on top of it, too. So two heroes will fall. Bit of a tough call. Probably the Warlock, right? Radiant Seems pretty strong. Maybe it's a bit risky in case he doesn't get it off in time. Another Viper. No okay. Yep. Hook shot coming in. They'll find the pug, and he's got a four step still. He's gonna make it out, but the Familiar is chasing him down, looking to try to get this. On the other side, they're chasing down what looks to be Envy, and he is getting chunked. Ramses comes in. He's going to get forced to the high ground, but it just won't be enough. Now DJ's in trouble. Yeah, DJ Viper struck at this point. He's got the Shadow where the Unstable Concoction will go. Two dead. Envy dead for... Yeah, minute 40. Pilot Eye in the tree line. No one might spot him. Archie Burn. Now he will. Courier going to get the immunity. That's going to keep it alive. Pilot Eye forced to the high ground. Won't be enough. He's dead. Man, the glyph on the courier. Hang out and, well, they will find themselves a Pugna. Got to do a little dance here from Pasha if he wants to survive. This is going to be tough. Can oh, they he find actually this? got that stun. The Fisher comes in the Enchant Totem as well, and that's dead Pasha. Finally, no, he, he will finally go down. It takes a little bit longer. 30 seconds with him down. They've got three familiars ready to go. Envy has plenty of damage as it is. Uh, the Hurricane Pike. Here. The glyph comes out. There's the hook shot from Ohio. Cog push back is there just to push him away, but the Viper Strike comes in. The Blade Mail will be popped as well. No one getting the Shadow Word. Here comes the Fisher Force across the wall. He has to pop the BKB, and the Soul Rip will come through as well. The Stone Gaze comes out. They'll take the Tier 3 Tower. The first Tier 3 of the game is taken by Fnatic, but can they get away scot-free? It looks like they can for now. Hurricane Pike is available for Envy. There's the Unstable Concoction. The Force Away. The Fisher Wall won't block. The Life Drain is so good. The Aghanim Scepter, it's kind of nuts. Eventually this game will go long enough that the Pugna will get level 25 and then you have two, plus 200 Nether Blast damage and then this game gets a lot easier for Virtus Pro. Hook shot coming in though, the fight's gonna start off, they're looking for no one. Golem's gonna get dropped down, the stun onto four, the Fatal Bonds is there as well. Winner's Curse will come out, that'll bring Pasha down, that's the gem on the deck. So only one dead and it's on the other side. Now they will take a one for one trade as Ohio, Ohio gets does. dropped. He does have buyback available, the tier three tower will fall, he'll buy back into the game. Pugna does not have it, no one getting forced away, he still has that Aegis to work with along with the cheese as well. Pilot Eye's pretty far out, the Viper Strike and Auto attacks should bring him down. Golden Brace might keep him alive. It's too much damage. The break is there as well with that Nether Toxin. Meanwhile, the Tombstone is still up. It's been alive this entire fight. Envy going to work on no one. They've only taken the Tier 3 Tower down. No Rax damage done just yet, but here Viper goes. The attack speed is there with the Mjolnir starting to work on that Rax. Ramsey's working on the Familiars as well. Envy's just trying to do any damage, but they're so tanky. There's going to be another hook shot. They found Ramses. He's getting low. He's got the chemical rage. Forced away. The soul assumption is there. The Mantis style. The echo slam from DJ. On to two. They'll get the kill. Dead for 98 seconds is going to be the out. He's got buyback. The hook shot will connect onto no one as well. They're looking for him. He's got no mana, but he's got the cheese and ages to work with. They will take down Lil. They've got the cog pushback. They're going to drop him once. Can they get him two more times is the question. Will he even use the cheese? Does he even need to at this point? The enchant totem will come out. The Fisher is there. There's the Stone Gaze. He cannot use the cheese. He will get dropped down. Dead for 90 seconds. That is a great fight for Fnatic, and they're not done yet. They'll find another kill. Ohio with the hook shot onto the... That 15% Arctic Burn slow. Working at the level 20 talent. He's got his Aghanims. 
All right, the buyback comes in from the Alchemist. This is huge. They still have the Viper buyback available. They're going to work on the racks down to the bottom lane. Buyback status now. Hookshot coming in from Ohio, looking for Pasha. The Fisher comes out as well. It's a lot of damage. He's in trouble. Force forward. He's down for 70 seconds. No buyback available for Pasha. They're going to have to do this without the Pugna. Ramsey's coming in, looking for more. The Yule Scepter will come out onto the Earthshaker for now. Ramsey's trying to chase him down, but getting kited by the Arctic Burn down bottom. Envy is still going to work with the Familiars. The racks will fall. The Hookshot, the pushback on the Lil. The Fisher will come through. They're going to get the first set of racks in this game and 50 seconds without Pugna still Envy just needs to hit this one more time and it'll be brought down one set of racks going the way of Fnatic and they are now starting to really find their footing here Trent has to worry about concoction and uh, chaotic offering he's strewn at the bottom rune spot DJ will grab it forces himself away they're looking for Pylidite oh this isn't good Viper Strike coming out he's in trouble good Fisher but not enough to block him He's going to pop the BKB. They're going to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They're at the Shrine. This might not be good for no one. He needs to be careful. He has the cheese, though. That's the thing. The Hookshot will come in there fine solo. He's got the Aegon Scepter. He's got his ultimate at the ready. He won't use it yet. Still getting chased down. Ohio going a little bit too far. Cheese still not used for no one. Flesh Golem will come in there trying to use whatever they can. The Alk, he's popped the Chemical Rage. No one still with the cheese. Forced to the high ground, but there's the Hookshot. They need to stun him. They've got the Fisher. He can't get it off. He's got buyback. He might need to use it. Ramsey's pops the Nantis out. There's that buyback coming in from the Viper. He'll be in the fray in just a second. Ramsey's getting dropped down. Oh, Cog pushback, he's dead for 108, no buyback, Lil is going to be next, Soul Subject coming in, Excalibur will chase him down with DJ, two dead, can they find more, on the back lines, Pasha's healing his way back up with a life drain, they found a third, it's Solo going down, Pasha will be next, Ohio's got the hook shot in two seconds, and Pasha will fall, and just like that, Fnatic, they found a way back into this game, and perhaps with a victory here, and just red and split a, uh, a pirate that they just didn't have any sort of like an option of teamwork there to fall themselves through that one, and getting picked off one by one, and that might just continue here with no one. Way oh, the, the three familiar stunts. He just bought back Viper Strike. He has the cheese, but the hook shot comes in again. They need more. He's able to pop it in time. They're all buying back. They're He's back into the fray, damage. and he is just done, though, at this point. All five dead. Virtus Pro call GG. Ramsey's DCs, and that is it. Fnatic with a phenomenal comeback here in game one against the main winners. It's envy, man. <laughs> That's all you could say, yeah, really. 